I'm Gabriel Morenci for Sports Interaction. Let's take a look at what's going to be a war of attrition as the National Hockey League playoffs are upon us. You don't have to be the world's biggest pucket to understand that the Stanley Cup is without a doubt the toughest championship trophy in all the professional sports to win. Just ask Toronto Maple Leaf fans. But hey, that's another story. Let's start with the defending Stanley Cup champion Pittsburgh Penguins. They once again get the Ottawa Senators. And, you know, the Senators deserve better. They had a great year, and now they get the Pittsburgh Penguins, who have Malkin back. Now, the key to this series, no doubt, will be goaltending, goaltending, goaltending. And I think Marc-Andre Fleury is one of the more unheralded, better big-game goaltenders in the National Hockey League. He's often criticized, but the bottom line is the kids played in two Stanley Cup finals already. I expect Marc-Andre Fleury to step up, and I expect the Pittsburgh Penguins to roll the Senators And let's say, six games. Take a look at the uh, Sports Interaction Futures page. Plus 300 Penguins in six. I think there's a little bit of value there. Now, cosmetically, there's a little bit of value with the Montreal Canadiens. Plus 350, plus 360. Yaroslav Halak, one of the hottest goaltenders in the National National Hockey League, yet he's showing some fatigue. You got Jose Theodore rolling into Montreal, where he won a Most Valuable Player Award. Jose Theodore is much more mature at this stage of his life. Personal tragedy has uh, made him grow up, and Theodore is having a career year along with the Washington Capitals. The story is a good one as Jose Theodore rolls back, and uh, the Washington Capitals carve the Montreal Canadiens in, let's say, five games. Canadians have no answer at all for Alexander Ovechkin, and we're going to be taking a look at the overs in these games. Expect a lot of 4-3 and 5-4 shootouts. Says it's going to be an entertaining series, but not for Montreal Canadian fans. It's first time these two uh, franchises ever met in the playoffs. Unfortunately for the Blue Blind Rouge, they don't have Guy Lafleur. They don't have Ken Dryden. They don't have Steve Shutt. Uh, you get the picture. Scotty Bowman's not behind the bench. Jacques Martin is. Capitals will roll. Now we're going to be taking a look at the unders in the uh, Buffalo-Boston series. Now there's not going to be a lot of offense in this series, but this is going to be a great old-fashioned Adams battle affair. These two teams don't like each other. I expect the first one to two to win. Now, there's good value on the board with the Boston Bruins or Buffalo Sabres to win this series in seven games. And I expect this series to go seven games. Now, the Philadelphia Flyers get into the playoffs after a dramatic shootout Victory over the New York Rangers. Brian Boucher is playing great hockey. Is he playing great enough to beat Martin Brodeur and the New Jersey Devils? Absolutely not. The so New Jersey Devils will roll the uh, Philadelphia Flyers. The Flyers will uh, put up a battle, but you got to believe that New Jersey's New Jersey's discipline will just be too much. And Philadelphia is one of the most undisciplined teams in the National Hockey League. It won't be easy for the Devils, but you know, and, hey, there's not much traveling for them. Uh, it takes about uh, 35, 45 minutes, I believe. Ironic part is, a lot of the Philadelphia Flyers live in New Jersey, but it won't be home, sweet home, when it's all said and done. I like the New Jersey Devils to advance as Martin Brodeur's got a chip on his shoulder after past postseason failures in the past couple of years. Let's swing over to the Western Conference. You look at the San Jose Sharks. I thought the Los Angeles Kings would have been a great test for the San Jose Sharks in the first round. I don't think Colorado has a chance. And if the, any series legitimately could be a sweep, I think San Jose really could sweep Colorado at plus 500. I think that's worth a look. I think the Joe Thornton and company are going to come into the postseason with a huge chip on their shoulder. And I think the young Colorado Avalanche are going to be overmatched. Now, if we're going to take a look at one potential upset, I think it's Barry Trotz and the Nashville Predators. The Chicago Blackhawks are an entertaining and exciting team. I'd actually pay money to watch the Blackhawks play hockey, and there's not a lot of teams in the NHL that I would put money down on. Now, the bottom line is Nashville, so disciplined and you know just so smart, they might be able to catch Chicago. Now, there's a lot of question marks about the Chicago Blackhawk goaltending situation, and rightfully so. Chicago's a great team, but let us not forget they're a young team. And I got to believe that Barry Trotz goes on a deep playoff run one of these years. Now, who would have thought the Phoenix Coyotes would be in the playoffs, let alone still in the desert? They got home ice advantage, which I actually think is going to work against them in this situation. You got an experienced Detroit Red Wing hockey club who, you know, they're clicking on all cylinders right now. They're healthy. Jimmy Howard's playing great hockey between the pipes. Mike Babcock and his McGill University tie seems to win them Stanley Cups and gold medals every couple of years. You know, this could be the year. I don't think anybody wants to play the Detroit Red Wings. I just think the Phoenix Coyotes are happy to be there. Briskolov's going to have to uh, stand on his head, literally and figuratively, and do cartwheels to keep the Red Wings you know, off the score sheet. When it's all said and done, I like the Detroit Red Wings 
to get it done. Now, we've got the Vancouver Canucks and the uh, Los Angeles Kings. Interesting, interesting matchup. The Los Angeles Kings are an up-and-coming young team, but I still think they're a year or two away, and you know, they've kind of hit a wall. You know, uh, Jonathan Quick, not so quick right now between the pipes. I expect Roberto Luongo and the Vancouver Canucks to make short work in the Los Angeles Kings and beat the Kings in, let's say, five games. Now, one of my favorite parts about the Stanley Cup playoffs is I have an excuse not to shave. I'm Gabriel Morenci for Sports Interaction. Enjoy the games. Enjoy the playoffs. May the winners be yours.